Yeah, can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Changing, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> this one, the second uh, lesson, mm -hmm. we're talking about some threats, the threat actors and the threat intelligence. All right, so first, the threat actor types and the attack vector. Okay, and then the topic number two B will be talking about the threat intelligence sources. Okay. Here in the first one, we'll be talking about the different type of threat actors, the vectors, and the intelligence sources. So, uh, when we need to classify and evaluate the capabilities of the threat actor, okay, uh, okay we need to we need to look for uh, the vulnerabilities, the threats, and the risks for that. Okay. So, what exactly is the vulnerability? Okay, what exactly is the threat and what exactly is the risk that we need to understand? Okay, so the vulnerability that's a weakness that could be triggered or uh, accidentally or exploited by the uh, by the attacker to cause a security breach. Okay, like improper uh, what you can call uh, improperly configured or installed hardware or software. Okay, delays in applying and testing the software firmware patches. Okay untested software and firmware patches these are some of the vulnerabilities that you can call okay loopholes insecure password usage design flaws in software or the operating system okay so these are some of the vulnerabilities okay threat when it uh, comes to threat threat basically is a potential for someone or something to exploit a vulnerability and breach the security okay Threat may be intentional or unintentional. Okay, the person or a thing that poses a threat is called the threat actor. Okay, or the threat agent. Okay, and when it comes to the threat, uh, the attack vector, the path of the tool used by the malicious threat actor, that basically is the vector, the attack vector or the threat vector, what you can call. Okay. Then it comes to risk. Okay, risk basically is the likelihood and impact of a threat, uh, of a threat actor basically exploiting the vulnerability. Okay, like we all understand what the risk is, but we'll, uh, it is a, a bit difficult to explain what the risk is, right? The risk is the, the uncertainty, the likelihood, okay, and the impact basically both all together. Okay, impact times. Uh, likelihood or likelihood times impact. Okay. So to assess the risk, first you need to identify a vulnerability and then evaluate the likelihood of it being exploited by a threat and the impact that a successful exploit would have. Okay, that's basically the risk will be all about. Okay, risk will be calculated in the uh, value over there that is low, medium, or high. And there are some uh, attributes of the threat actors. Okay. Now, cybersecurity techniques were highly independent on the identification of the known threats. Okay. And still are. Okay. Like the viruses or the rootkits or the malwares or the progens or botnets or specific software vulnerabilities. Okay, now it is relatively straightforward to identify and scan for these types of you know uh, uh, threats with automated software. Okay, but the attackers were able to develop the means of circumventing uh, the type of signature based this type of signature based scanning basically. Okay, so the sophisticated nature of modern cybersecurity threats. Uh, means that uh, it is important to be able to describe and analyze the behavior. 
Okay, and the analysis involves identifying the attributes of the threat actors in terms of the location, intention, and the capability. Okay. So when it comes to the location, okay, the attacker can be the threat actor or the attacker or the threat agent can be internal, can be external. Okay, internal, the insider threat, you can say, okay, the one that is that has been granted permissions onto the system, okay, maybe the employee of the organization, okay, but insider threat can also arise from contractors or the business partners. Okay, external. Okay, uh, the threat actor is the one that has no account or no authorized access to the target system. Okay, malicious external threat must infiltrate the uh, security system by using malware or uh, social engineering over there. Okay, then it comes to the intentions. Okay, or the motivation. Okay, intent describes what an attacker hopes to achieve from the attack okay and the motivation is the attacker's reason for performing the attack okay a malicious threat actor could be motivated by greed curiosity or uh, some part of grievance or for instance okay the intentions could be to vandalize or disrupt a system or to steal something okay the threats can be categorized over there as in structured or unstructured threat okay like the target uh, versus the opportunistic you can say okay depending on the degree to which uh, your organization is targeted specifically like for example a criminal gang attempting to steal the customer's financial data is structured okay the structured or the targeted threat while a script kiddie launching uh, some variant of uh, uh, you know on the on the uh, on the email email bomb okay on any kind of email bomb okay that will be the opportunistic or the unstructured threat okay then accidental or unintentional you can say Okay, malicious intents and the motivations can be contrasted within these two terms. Okay, the un unintentional threat, uh, threat actor represents the accidents, okay, oversights and other mistakes. Okay, rest of them are intentional. That's we, that uh, the thing that we know that, okay, what are the intentions of the uh, attacker, what the attacker hopes to do, and then the motivation over there. Okay. Then it comes to the level of sophistication. Okay, so we need to consider the capability. Okay, the level of sophistication is basically the capability. Okay, so the capability is basically uh, the ability to craft the exploits, novel exploits, uh, exploit techniques, and the tools. Okay, the least capable the threat actor relies on the commodity attack tools that are widely available on the web or the dark web. Okay, more capable actors can uh, fashion the zero day exploits in the operating system or the application software or embedded control systems. Okay, and at the high level, highest level, the threat actor might make use of non cyber tools like the political or the military assets over there. Okay, capability basically uh, is only uh, funded through a substantial budget. Okay. And sophisticated threat actors, group, threat actor groups need to be able to acquire resources like uh, uh, you can say a customized attack tool or the skill strategists or the designers, hackers, coders, or the social engineers over there. Okay, and the most capable uh, threat actor group receives funding from nation states and the criminal syndicates over there. Okay, so these are the different different types of uh, capability levels. Get the least capable, the capable, and the highest level. Okay, and then the funding, the resources that are required by the attackers in terms of the capability. All right.